Hello guys, Matthew here from YouChat. In this video, we will discussing the importance of the being able to export your chatbot chat history and then show you how to do it step by step. Okay. First of all, why this is important? Uh, we have received um, some of some of the support ticket that the user they want to the customer they have this requirement they want to export the whole chat history into their own system. Maybe they are using different uh, CRM system. They want to keep a record of that. Okay. And also another user case is we have recently um, customer reaching to us that they want to pull the chat history and send this data into the open, you know, chat API, open AI. And then the AI will generate some response so that they can, you know, um, send this response back to the user. Okay. And also maybe you have the requirement that you want to keep a record of the chat history for your own record or for the compliance uh, purpose. Okay. That's, there are multiple reasons why you needed to keep a separate copy of the chat history of the user. Okay. And now let me show you a quick demo that how, you know, how, how you can, you know, what's the final result you can um, export this chat history. Okay. So here is my Um, how it looks and now let me show you how to do that uh, from step by step okay step by step so first of all uh, we need to familiar with uh, two important parts uh, to make it work one is we have a chat message API okay some of you maybe do not know but we add this endpoint um, I think a few months back it's just that we uh, didn't have any training tutorials on that. So let me show you how to get to this API. Okay. So if you go to uh, our uchat.com.au slash API, and here is our API endpoints. And if you scroll down, you will able to find that is a get request. Okay. And you can get the chat messages. Okay. So you only need, we only need the user in yes. And also you can uh, set up, do you want to include the bot response or not? Okay. And then it will generate a risk, uh, you know, a response. It will have all the in out messages. Okay. This is the first step. And the second step is actually with that data, you can use, actually use the JavaScript function to process those data and to format the way you want. And then you can save that data into, uh, uh, you know, a user custom fields, or you can send those data directly to the third party you want. Okay. So, uh, that is, uh, two things. Okay. And, uh, let me show you the flow setup. First of all, uh, let's go to you chat. Okay. This is the flow I just built out and it's just to have, you know, mostly it's just one actions. Okay. This is the most important one. So basically what it does is actually. <clears throat> it 
it does a lot of things. Okay, everything, uh, everything from pull the data, pull the message chat history data from the user, and also process those data. Okay, so let me show you exactly how it works. And first of all, it's a get request. Okay, and then this is um, endpoint we need. Okay. And uh, you needed to use a variable user ns. Okay, that is how you can pull the chat history of the current user. Okay, and we have another setting: is do you want to include the bot response in the history or not? If you want, use one. If you do not, keep it zero. Okay, that is how these endpoints. Okay, and in the headers, you needed to have these two setting uh, two parameters okay accept application json and authorization barrier space remember there is a space between barrier and this is your api keys okay you needed to get your api keys from here admin api keys if you haven't generated any api keys you can, you know, um, put the API keys name and assign the, all the abilities and then select the bot you want to generate the API keys, okay? After you generate the API keys, you can directly copy the keys of here. And then you can use that keys in that external request, okay? So let me uh, go back into the bot. and okay let's okay this is the flow and i just showed you how to get the api keys and here in the headers you put your api keys over here remember there is a space between your api keys and the barrier okay and this is a test if you want to test you need to pull exactly the same value of these two values put the same over here that is a uh, authentication in the body keep it none authorization keep it no auth and here is a response okay in the response uh maybe you do not know we actually add an option that is for you to pre-processing the data okay so this is the script we actually using, and we pull, um, we pull the, we we actually reformat the chat history to the format you just see. Okay, it's just a, a user, and then what the chat they are uh, they are talking about. Okay, and I will actually share this code in the description of this video okay you should find this video on youtube and this script will be shared and the description of the video okay you can copy that and you can set up exactly um you know how it looks over here okay you need to load the library load dash and then you need to paste the code over here and after you format the chat history, we actually save that history into a user custom fields. And then you can use these custom fields directly. You can, you can display this uh, in your chat. You can send this data into the third party you want. Okay. If you are saving this data into you chat user custom fields there is some limits about the size of the you know data you can store but uh, you can also have the options to after you process the data and you can send those uh, data directly to the third party you want okay so basically that is basically how you can um, pull the chat history and process those data and then use in the different platform you want okay and let me show you that we actually talk about the chat message apis and also uh, showed you how you can process the data in the external request 
and also the sample code will be shared in um, in the description of this video and then you can build exactly um, your own uh, your own solutions and to get these chat histories okay so that is the video for today and see you guys in the next one bye